today is just not my day. I might seem a bit off, but it's half past nine at night and I'm trying to make a video very quickly to send out. Um, basically, an episode of the Celtic career was meant to come out tonight. It didn't. And you'll see why in the next episode of the Celtic career. If that's what you're in, if that's what you're watching my channel, I'll explain in the next episode what happened and why it wasn't out today. So today I've decided to make a video on something, a bit of news around Celtic. So obviously, I like talking about Celtic. Like, I always I always open every Celtic talk with that, but that exact quote. I like talking about Celtic. But uh, today is a big kind of talking point. Today it has been announced that Celtic Park is ready to go under yet again another rede redevelopment. A redevelopment of the stadium, not so much to do with the actual capacity and such of the stadium, but outside of the stadium, and that's not a bad thing by any means. That's a good thing. It helps push the club's reputation and uh, and and forward thinking. This, uh, for, uh, it just helps putting it forward, you know. Uh, and today it was announced that Celtic are ready to expand outside again by improving uh, a club store. A, giving us a club hotel, something I never thought I'd ever say, but we're going to have a club hotel outside the stadium. Uh, a better ticket facility, which is much, much needed. Talking from experience, I'm the man who waited seven hours for a season ticket this year in the boiling hot sun and only got a visit from Craig Gordon to to say um, thanks for waiting. Uh, and more importantly, the thing I want to talk about, a museum for Celtic, which could be very, very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what that actually does and what it brings and what's actually going to be featured in the museum. But today we're going to talk about the, the restructure uh, of the outside of the stadium and once again another development. So in 2013, obviously Celtic Park was done up and outside. If you don't know, if you're not a Celtic fan, I'll put up some photos of the old, you know, kind of before it was done up. Um, if you don't remember and you are a Celtic fan, then you're very young because it was 2013 that happened. So if you don't remember what Celtic Park looked like outside before, then I don't know if you can actually understand what I'm saying to you. Um, but basically, it, was, it wasn't the nicest. Let's be honest, outside of Celtic Park itself was not great before they'd done it up. And then they gave us the Celtic way. It took a, a, quite a while. It was quite an inconvenience to get into the games, especially if you sat in the main stand. I remember I was sitting in the main stand for a cup game and I had to walk all the way around the stadium, which was quite irritating. But hopefully this one won't be as bad. But that's not all. But they'd done up the stadium. And it made it just look a lot nicer. It's so nice now. The Celtic way has improved the look of the stadium massively. It is a beautiful, beautiful walkway up to the stadium. It has really improved the look of the area. And now they're aiming to go even further by adding this new club store and such. I'll put photos on the screen. It was announced today Celtic have submitted the plans. And it just shows the financial situation Celtic must be in just now. Uh, Rangers not able to afford compensation for the manager. And, and we're just rubbing it in by building a club uh, hotel and a brand new building for, for a superstore and all the rest of it. The financial situation at Celtic is fantastic. We have got money for days. We're, we're up there right now, you know, singing away while we watch Rangers struggle in, in it. One part it seems sad saying that, but on the other hand, we played our cards right, and now look, we're getting all of this, all the benefits coming from these smart financial decisions, and good, good chairmans and good executives and everything. Peter Law has done great for the club, in my opinion. I remember, you know, there was talk of fans wanting him out because we had Ronnie Dial as our manager, for example, and I thought it was ridiculous because he's done a lot of good things for the club, uh, and this is just a prime example. The stuff he, that we are doing to improve our football team as a uh, reputation and their actual business side of things is unbelievable and it all comes back to this Rogers revolution all of this is coming under this Rogers revolution if you want to call it that I mean we want this new grass pitch which would put us on uh, this new pitch it's not grass it's what is it 4G that's going to put us on par with some of the top teams in England Man United Liverpool and such and uh, now we're building a club hotel and all this new buildings and uh, all that around the stadium which surely puts us in par with this kind of thing, not obviously on a football and skill level, but on this kind of level with teams like Man United. The facilities our club has and everything is incredible. Uh, and it's just getting better and better by the day. And it all comes back to the smart decision of bringing in Brendan Rodgers, I think. The financial, has, the financial situation is great. The reports were released a couple of weeks ago. And it is unbelievable the amount of profits we've made just in the last year especially since Brendan Rodgers has became manager unbelievable how the profits have went the turnover has went the finances are unbelievable ever since that one decision of bringing in Brendan Rodgers as manager 
but we're going to specifically talk about this stadium and uh, redevelopment and such. So it's just going to be on the Celtic Way. It's where the current superstore uh, and ticket office stands, if you know where that is. It's just right on London Road, basically. Uh, and, you know, it's a much-needed probably redevelopment. Not so much the store. The ticket office, though, is very, very annoying, in my opinion. It's just basically a, a little... Sh- it's, I wouldn't say shed, right? It's obviously bigger than a shed. But it, it's like a... It's like a temporary building it doesn't seem like an actual proper building like the old ticket office the old ticket office was obviously in a horrendous looking old building and this is in but it looks like something that's just been set up temporarily and maybe it has been for this situation maybe this has been in plan for a while but it's going to be great more specific what i talk about is the celtic museum i think that's going to be really really interesting i think that'll be great it's something that you know now that they've brought it up it's something like why have i not clicked on and thought of this ages ago i could have came up with the idea of that I'm joking about that, but I mean, it's a great idea and I can't wait to see what they do, you know, it'll give a lot of people a better insight into the club, it, you know, it gives us the chance to bring in even more fans and such and f- finances, once again, it all comes back to finances, and I, I don't want it to come to this point where Celtic is more of a business than a football team as I was talking about in England the other day, but it's the smart decision I suppose. Uh, building this museum I'm, I'm guessing it won't be like a proper proper museum it'll probably just be a section of the superstore with a few historical things like a trophy a replica of a shirt here and there I don't think it'll be a full scale museum but I mean it'll still be cool I think it'll be a, a cool idea uh, and it's just it's great for us to move forward as a team it keep, day by day it seems like Celtic are getting even closer to that point to being on a reputation scale with with the bigger teams in England, for example, you know this season has been great, and under Brendan Rodgers, everything is consistently improving, and this is just even more good news today. I mean, it just improves the look of the stadium, it improves everything, the facilities. It's great for the club. It's great. We'll bring in more money. I mean, I don't know how damaging to the finances is going to be. I don't know how much this is costing us. It's all very rough at the minute. We've only submitted the plans to the council. It's not even been approved to build, but they have said it will take a few years to actually get up and running. So we'll see how it goes. But when it's built, I'm sure it'll be a lovely addition to around the stadium. And it'll be cool to see. I wonder how much... I hope it doesn't dam- da- damage <laughs> damage, damage our finances too greatly to the point where, you know, we need to avoid spending money on players for a while because of that. But it's all on this. This season under Brendan Rodgers has done so much for the team and this is just another example of what this great season has done for us. Uh, and just the finances report last week or whatever it was is proven at all and Celtic are in a great state under Brendan Rodgers and that's basically the point in this video I'm looking forward to seeing the museum and all the rest of it but under Brendan Rodgers it's been an incredible transformation and it seems like we've just became a proper world class team under Brendan Rodgers and obviously we're not a world class team you throw us in a Champions League you know situation right now would be getting thrown about maybe but in the league it is unlike anything I've seen in my lifetime uh, on, the, on a domestic level we were unlucky in Europe with the group we were handed it could have been even better uh, and it's just been great uh, it has been great and I'm looking forward to seeing what this redevelopment does to Celtic Park uh, and how it improves us as a team so uh, I mean this was a very pointless video I'm not going to lie but I had to I wanted to make a video today it was a discussion point to talk about why not I don't care if you hate me or not hate me all you like in the comments I don't care I had to make a video of some sort. It was annoying me not having a video up today. If you enjoyed that, like and subscribe. Let me know your opinions of this new hotel and such in the comments below. And I'll see you all next time.